Okay, folks, we're going to make a meatloaf and mashed potatoes in the Instant Pot. It was a request by one of my followers. So I will give you the link where I purchased the pots. They don't have a name on them and I don't remember um, the name because I've had them for a while now. So just hold on and I will pan you down. Here we go. Okay, here we have a bowl and we have some Hamburg meat in it. So I'm just gonna put a little dab of ketchup in, just a little dab of do ya. And we're gonna put some chopped onion, minced onion in, and some garlic, just like that. And I forgot two ingredients, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and we need one egg. Just like that and we're gonna put it right in and we need some crackers this is the way my grandmother always made hers and she would use an onion but I'm out of onions right now and she would just put a splash of milk in just like that easy peasy then what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix it up just like this Let's mix it right up no ream or rhyme or anything. And we'll put salt and pepper on the end because I am watching my salt intake. And I got this thing about, I don't like the texture of Hamburg meat. So I um, try not to touch it too much. I hope everybody's doing well today. So here is my two cans that I got off the internet on Amazon. I'm going to put my potatoes in this one. I'm just going to stick potatoes right in, just like that. Sorry, I'm trying to, I'm doing a new angle with the camera, so it's a little harder for me, but that's okay. Hey, this is all the potatoes I had. Good judging. Good judging. Wowza. Just like that. And this pan's going to stick right on top. Make sure it's on good. And then we're going to take this hamburg meat that we just made the meatloaf with, and we're just going to stick it right in this pot. Just like this. You can make it into a loaf if you want, or we can. We can just go yabba dabba do, just like this. And what we have left over, Ray will take for lunches. So you just make it into a little loaf, just like that. And then, I don't particularly like ketchup on top, but Ray does, so we'll do that. Whoa, not a problem. There you go. I hope you like the new angle of this. Hopefully you can see better what's going on. I've been playing around. And then it has this little holder with handles. And you put the pot just like this. It's got a bail on it. Put that over the bail. You've got a handle. You have a trivet right here. It's going to set in with one cup of water in the steel pot. Just like that. A little bit of a reach here. There, just sang to me, and we're going to put it on meat right here. Make sure your vent's on steam so it builds up the steam. We have 35 minutes once it reached the steam, and then I'll bring you back. So don't go too far. Okay, folks, I'm back. Hey, Ray, you want to say hi? You're holding the camera for me. Hello. Okay, I'm taking the cover off right now and i'm taking this out i don't know what you need either surprise this is, this is supper yes by the way and you have no idea what it is okay so i'm taking this out oh i'm sorry he's telling me my arm's in the way 
Oh uh, yeah, hot, hot, hot. We shall see what we got here. Now what they do with my, got it. Okay, number one. We have meatloaf. Wow, that looks good. Does it look good? Look at that. Yeah. Hey, that looks good. That's meatloaf and that one. Ooh, salad. No, potatoes. Oh, it's a double T. I didn't know that. And look, it's nice and... I didn't know that. Okay, I'm going to take this out and drain it, Ray, so can you stop it for a minute, please? Yes, I can. Okay, we're back. I'm going to give you a little smidge of milk there. I'm going to get a little butter. butter. There's nothing like butter. And look at this. One pot. You cook and you can mash right in it. I just took it out and I drained it. Now, how long does that take to cook potatoes? That was 35 minutes for the potatoes and meatloaf, and it's all done, and then when it's not when it's not cooking, it will go in the slow mode right here, and it will say L whatever, and that's fine. You can leave it there as long as you want. Okay, look at that. Nice mashed potatoes. I'll put a little pepper in it. Now I'm gonna hold on the salt because Ray, how much salt do you use? Not much. She only, um, I do not salt my food. Uh, Brenda just uses it for cooking, and that's really, we don't, we don't have a salt shaker on the table. No, we do not. Okay, now I'm gonna just, gonna serve up here. Oh, that looks good. Does that look good? Again, that I, looks good. I'm sorry, people. <laughs> I look. I like the end, so there you go. Look at that. And it's nice and cooked. And we know Ray's got a good appetite, so. And Ray, how do you like your vegetables? I don't. <laughs> you know, there's nothing green on my plate. I know. And look, Ray, you're going to have some for sandwiches tomorrow. Oh, that sounds real good. That would be Tomorrow perfect. I got to work. And now we'll serve up some potato. You tell me when. That's good. So, everybody, his Ray's, uh, his Ray's plate. plate. I'm sorry. Don't mean to stretch over your arm. And Brenda's going to have a uh, helping of potato salad and meatloaf and here you go folks so if you like this video please give me thumbs up because you never know what i'm going to have on my video this is a uh, meatloaf in the instapot with uh, mashed potatoes and i got a little side salad for me and um kind of crazy here on maniac grammy's channel so you never know you can find me on instagram facebook and Pinterest. So have a great day, uh, and I'll see you tomorrow. God bless. Bye now.